cut. Um, I took this opportunity very seriously and I was really, really nervous and I'm like, how am I going to get them to like my art and what if I, they don't and this is so weird and they're not weird and they're not going to like it. And then it dawned on me, it's a show and tell. <laughs> they don't have to like it. I'm just here to show you this weird stuff that I make and what inspires me and tell you a little bit about me and um, artist to artist. I have nothing to sell. I have... It's just fun. So thank you very much for having me, for inviting me. I wore my favorite skirt. And, uh, that I Which designed. she designed. I designed it. And um, I'm very pleased to be here. So thank you. So um, I am, I have to get my notes because I'm nervous. Right. Um, so I started very early in life um, with art, just entering contests and drawing and winning and uh, not even trying that hard. And everyone was like, oh, you're really good at art. And I was like, okay. And so they would scoot me off to special art classes and I would get out of class to, to do it. And, um, and it gained momentum. <clears throat> so when I got older, I decided I wanted to be a fashion designer, except I don't sew. So and I, did, <laughs> and I didn't want to learn how to sew because I just like to draw the fashions. And so, you know, all my childhood stuff is full of these ridiculous fashions. I went back to see if I could recreate some of them. I could not. Um, but I got I got with my best friend and I was like, hey, do you want to be a fashion designer with me? And she was like, yeah, I know how to sew a little bit. But my designs were really complicated and she couldn't sew them. So we ended up having to outsource. But we did start a fashion company. Wow. And so we showed at Fashion Week in New York. We were the only fashion show at CBGB's, which is punk rock. Um, we were sponsored by Manic Panic. We were sponsored by Steve Madden Shoes. It was so cool. And then she moved away and we dissolved the company. And I was like, huh, what am I going to do now? So, um, so I brought some stuff to show you because it's so How old stuff. were you when you did it? I was in my uh, mid-20s. Wow. Yeah, I was broke. So it was also like, I want to quit my day job and I just want to be a fashion designer who doesn't sew. Yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> we, we had no money. Uh, we were borrowing money from everyone, but we were selling our pieces for like hundreds of dollars. So it's, it would fund the next round of fabric and seamstress because we were selling like $400 skirts and they were selling, which blew our mind. But you know, we had some name brands behind us. We had great photographers and stuff. So um, I'll pass around some of our collections so you can see. Um, you can just uh, take a look at it. And I marked the pages. We got some write-ups and some magazines. It was awesome. And I got to hang out with models and makeup artists and uh, DJs. And it was great. So I started painting. I just started, uh, picked up some acrylics and started painting. Um, don't exactly know what I'm doing. I'm not formally trained, but acrylics dry fast. You can layer them um, and it worked. So I started painting and I started selling the paintings and I thought, oh, okay. And now we moved to North Carolina and I didn't know anybody or anything. And I'm like, how do I make friends? I don't have kids, I don't have a dog. Uh, you know, I'm just this like, Kind of a loser, like don't know anybody. Well, I connected through art. Um, I joined APHIS downtown and I met all these really cool people who continued to encourage me to do more acrylics and I started doing um, some sculpture. So um, some of my earlier pieces were full of shock value because I like that reaction of people looking at something of mine and going, interesting. <laughs> uh, I get that a lot. I, I get so many different ways of saying, ew, what is that? I get that's creative. That's very interesting. Oh, what were you thinking when you made this piece? I love it. I love being the weirdo in the room. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. I'm sure a psych could, but I just like to be different. I think it's really fun and it suits me. Um, and in my day job, I feel like I'm cosplaying as a regular person because I'm in sales. So I go into all these like special like you know business meetings in my business Dahlia outfit. But really, I'm like you don't know. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. Um, so, so my cute. earlier pieces, I started at home, and I, I would just buy polymer clay. 
because I could bake it in my oven and it seemed kind of foolproof and I was a little afraid of it. Will I burn it? What if it melts? Can I cook food in my oven after? So there's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of worry, but I figured it out and I started making these little weirdos. And I named um, them. I'll pass them around so you can touch them and look at them. And I like to make them bloody because it was like weird and easy and a little creepy. But I'm not into horror and like guts and gore. And, but I like when I like when art makes you go, ooh. <laughs> I don't know if I want to touch that. Um, or why did she do that? Or what does that mean? Uh, so I'll start these over here. Are serial killers in her family? Uh, <laughs> that's what I know, Mom. <laughs> you have a Q&A. Yes, uh, so yeah, so I started working for the polymer. So um, no this nice is one story. of my earlier pieces that I, uh, I showed downtown. Everybody loved it. And, and the thing about it is, and <laughs> my husband begged me not to bring it, but it's the winter skirt. 